Hi, it's Rico from South Trail Chrysler and today we're making a video comparing factory installed tires with winter tires. We're doing two different tests today. A braking test where we'll run up a vehicle to 50 kilometers an hour and then hit the brakes hard and then measuring the distance with winter tires and with factory installed tires. We're also doing an agility test where we'll line up this stretch of road with pylons and then drive it in a zigzag pattern to see how the vehicle responds with the different set of tires with these uh, extreme weather conditions. Uh, just so uh, we're on the same page, it is minus 25 right now, it's pretty darn cold. So we're trying to do this test under the most brutal extreme conditions to see how the winter tires really react to cold weather. Here is a 2017 Jeep Cherokee 4x4. The top footage shows the vehicle with factory installed tires while the bottom footage shows the same experiment with winter tires. As you can see, the vehicle traveled 134 feet with factory installed tires before coming to a complete stop once the vehicle had reached 50 km an hour on this icy stretch of road. With winter tires, the stopping distance was 75 feet, making the total braking difference 59 feet or four car lengths. In this agility test, the driver was asked to drive the pylon course as fast as possible while keeping all pylons standing. As you can see, the vehicle in the bottom was able to navigate the course much easier compared to the vehicle on the top. The trial with factory installed tires yielded a lot wider turns, causing the driver to miss the last pylon. In this next trial, we drove a 2017 Dodge Grand Caravan front wheel drive. The top footage shows the vehicle with factory installed tires, while the bottom footage shows the same experiment with winter tires. As you can see, the vehicle traveled 138 feet with factory installed tires before coming to a complete stop once the vehicle had reached 50 km an hour on this icy stretch of road. The winter tires braking distance was 73 feet, making the total braking difference 65 feet or 3.5 car lengths. In the agility test, the driver was asked to drive the pylon course as fast as possible while keeping all pylons standing. As you can tell, the vehicle in the bottom was able to navigate the course a lot faster compared to the vehicle on the top. The trial with the factory installed tires yielded a lot wider turns, causing the driver to decrease speeds in order to miss the pylons. After this run, the driver commented that the van was sliding too much and it was hard to keep the speeds constant. Here is a 2017 Ram 1500 Crew Cab Sport 4x4 with the Hemi V8 engine. The top footage shows the vehicle with factory installed tires, while the bottom footage shows the same experiment with winter tires. As you can see, the vehicle traveled 106 feet with factory installed tires before coming to a complete stop once the vehicle had reached 50 km an hour on this icy stretch of road. With winter tires, the stopping distance was 79 feet making the total difference 27 feet, or one and a half track lengths. As you can tell, the vehicle on the bottom was able to navigate the course a little faster compared to the vehicle on the top. Although the trial showed a higher degree of consistency, you can still see that the truck with factory installed tires was forced to make wider turns, causing the vehicle to decrease overall speeds. Hi there, it's uh, Rico here and I'm with my friend Jaden and uh, Jaden's been in charge of uh, marking the distances traveled by the vehicles as we accelerate from zero to 50 kilometers an hour and then hit the brakes pretty hard. Uh, so we measured uh, vehicles with regular tires from the factory and then we measured the same vehicles with winter tires instead of the factory tires. So what happens, I'll just turn the camera here. What we do is uh, when the car comes to complete stop, uh, and I've been driving them, I'll tell Jaden the number of the car and the color of the spray. A red spray is with winter tires and a green spray is with uh, regular tires. And Jaden just kind of marks it on the snow. So let's just kind of show the guys here on the, on the screen here. Jaden, how do you, how you go about marking this? All right, so basically, let's just say, if, for example, the vehicle stops here after the braking point. We just mark it like so. As explained earlier, red is for snow tires and the green is for stock tires. And then let's just say as an example, if the vehicle ID number is three, then we just click three. So vehicle number three with snow tires stopped at this point from 50. All right, so move out so we cannot see the shade here. So that's a, a red three if the vehicle kind of stopped over there. Now we're going to walk to where Jaden was, uh, was uh, 
mostly marking the vehicles. We're gonna see some green uh, markings. I'll just uh, not walk on top of the mark. So here's a, where a number four stopped, uh, number one. Uh, looks like cars number two and three stopped at the same spot over here. And later on the video, we'll tell you which cars are which. But what's interesting here, explain to me what's going on here, uh, Jaden, because there's a lot of red. All right, so basically, from during the test and such, a lot of the vehicles without the winter tires took a lot longer time to brake from the braking point at that pile on there. Most of them, the, the quickest one stopped here, but most of them didn't stop until over there, meaning you have quite a bit of distance between the time you hit the brakes and the time you stop. But all the red ones right here, as you can see, all stop within a relative short location to each other. We have two vehicles here, we got one there, and another two there. They're all within like 10 feet of each other. So everything with winter tires kind of stopped in the same area and everything without winter tires kind of took their own time to stop and distance down the road kind of thing, hey? You bet. Very interesting. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you got as much out of it as we did while filming the video in the last couple of days. We try to use a lot of different camera angles. We had about five different cameras. We had a drone flying up high and we try to use all of these angles to give you an almost exact um, experience as we did as we had while filming it uh, it's very hard to sometimes show something on on a video but we figured with all of the different cameras that we could probably give you an idea if winter tires are better than stock tires my conclusion is yes they absolutely are mm -hmm.